Hurricane Aaron is bringing dangerous surf to much of the East Coast, and it's still on the path to impact our Outer Banks. Our weather team is expecting major coastal flooding once the storm touches down. Meteorologist Claire Fry explains. Even though Hurricane Aaron isn't expected to make landfall here, it's still causing coastal flooding all along the Carolina coastline. Let's talk about why. Hurricane winds push ocean water toward the shore, creating what we call storm surge. That's extra water piled up along the coastline above the normal sea level. On its own, storm surge can cause flooding, but when it happens at high tide, it gets even worse. Tides are the regular rise and fall of the ocean caused by the moon and the sun. When a storm surge arrives during high tide, which is expected along our coastline today and tomorrow, the water levels stack together, sometimes several feet higher than normal. So that's why areas like Highway 12 could be seeing significant flooding today and tomorrow, especially during peak high times, even though Aaron is still offshore. So what's the key takeaway? Well, you don't have to be directly in the hurricane's path to feel its effects. Timing matters, and right now the combination of air and surge and the high tides is what's driving the peak flooding risk along our coastline. We'll continue to monitor any changes in the forecast and keep you updated as the storm passes.